so in this video we are trying to uh, upload an SQL file or an MDF file in SQL management studio 2018 okay so we are opening the SQL management uh, studio server management studio so now it is open so now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use this SQL server authentication and in that I'm going to give the login and the password. So in the previous videos, we have just seen about how to uh, get this login and password for the SQL Server authentication. If you don't have that, you can go for the Windows authentication. When you go for the Windows authentication, it is basically it will not ask you for any username or password. But when you go for the server uh, SQL Server authentication, you have to provide this username and password. So now. Um, yeah i'm going to give the password and i'm going to connect to the database okay so now i have connected to the database so what i am doing here is that i'm going to right click on the database click on attach okay so this uh, screen will pop up so in that i'm going to add okay so the best way to do is that you know there is a location which is a default location which is there uh, for the SQL server okay so basically this is the location okay like in the program files M uh, a, a Microsoft SQL server okay and in MS SQL, MS SQL you have the data so you have all this MDF files I have I have this uh, adventure works MDF file the LDF file the baseball so all these files are basically here so going back here I'm trying to bring all the MDF files say adventure works is already there so I'm just trying to include this baseball <coughs> MDF file so I'm clicking on the baseball and I'm clicking OK okay so now this baseball MDF file is going to get added to my database okay I'm going to click on that and click OK so it is executed so now when we go back here and uh, this is the database so I'm just giving a refresh so always it is better to give some refresh operation because if in case anything you know we'll be able to see that so here when you look at this you could see uh, this is basically the baseball uh, dot MDF and uh, it has got various tables okay and it has got dbo.players table so when I click on that and select the top thousand rows it will show me it's a small database with very few <coughs> players in it okay and if I right click on the dbo and if I click on the design it will provide you the structure of the database which is a which is having a very simple structure like the first name the last name the batting average that's all it is in that okay so this is what uh, you could see in the table so you have only just one table like the players table so it's a very simple database so that it is easier for you to work with for initial purposes okay so this is how you will add an already existing uh, MDF file to SSMS in the previous example we have seen how to import an MDF file so now in this example we will try to create a new database and um, execute the a new query file so that we can import all the tables from the SQL query file so that is what we are going to see in this example so for that what we are going to do is first we are going to create a new database so I'm just right clicking on the database and I'm going to start with a new database and I'm just going to give the name as production underscore bike and I'm just clicking on OK so now you could see that a uh, new DB okay with the production bike has come out 
now uh, there is only the system tables the minimal tables which we have so now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add clicking on the production bike okay so this is the new DB where I'm going to add create new uh, tables so I'm just right clicking on it click on new query okay now I already have this query which is available here so I'm just going to copy paste that control A okay and control C and I'm just going to copy paste it here okay so I'm gonna save it so it will ask you for what you have to save so I'm just it's a SQL query for the bike production so I'm just saving it as like this SQL query underscore bike and now I'm going to execute it okay, you can either press F5 or execute it so the commands uh, completed successfully okay and with the log of the time is also given there now whenever you do something I have as I have always told you please refresh please refresh and then open up your production bike go to the tables and you can see all the tables which has been created by this commands in the SQL query has been generated so basically the production bike schema has been developed properly so this is how you can um, import the tables with the help of a SQL file <coughs> now if you want to see uh, the table what it contains wait so I'm just closing this okay if you want to see the uh, yeah the design of the table you could see the design of the table here okay now uh, when you try to see the design of the production categories you can see that and when you try to select the rows it will show you the error because we have not added any data okay we have not added any data we have simply created all the tables we have not added any data to the table okay so uh, this is how you will create the tables for a um, what is that for a database using the SQL file so if you are comfortable you can write the SQL file separately and you can just add it as, su as such onto the database by creating a new database this is basically possible so you have seen two things by this video one is like importing a database so you can attach and you will get the MDF file location you can um, add the file say if it is books.mds mdf you can just click on to it click on it click ok so it will be executed and it will be added so this is one way so the books mdf has been added so this is one way that means you can add the tables okay uh, tables and if you are adding the mdf file basically you can select uh, so here also I think you know there is some I think the connection has been lost so what you could do is you could just connect it again so at one two three and connect it okay and you can refresh always make sure that you are refreshing your database so I think some issue has occurred uh, using the login so the login basically failed so that's why these issues are coming up otherwise basically you you will be able to see the database so the connection had been lost so I have just connected once again so now it is showing all the tables properly the design of the tables could be seen here properly without any hassle so when you get some error don't be panicked you just you know go through the error and understand what it is so it was like you know the connection was lost so now I am able to see all the structure properly okay if ever you uh, come across with such issues what you have to do is that just make sure that you are uh, disconnecting from the server and then click on the database engine and connect it again okay so what you could do is you can actually just you know go back to the server SQL 
server authentication and connect it again okay so now it will be connected so once it is connected just try again so sometimes you will have to try multiple times to get this working go back to the tables and click on the design so the design will be given now say if you want to see the data select the data so now the data is actually shown so now you are able to select it okay so now in the production also the same issue was there so you can go to the design yes the design is shown and say select it okay so see this is just this is because you know we have basically um, created uh, the database okay so we have not entered any particular value as we have seen so it's just the structure which is available there so you will have to add the uh, you know you will have to execute another query in order to uh, add it or you will have to add it step by step okay so this is all about your uh, database structures okay so these are the two different ways in which you can add uh, the MDF file directly or you can actually create a database okay, and then add the values into the database by using the SQL file. Uh, now say if you want to add the values onto the database you can click here okay. you can okay so now you can actually click here on the production bike and new query and I'm just closing all the other queries uh, this query we don't require all these things we don't require so I'm just closing all the other queries which is there and I'm going to add the insert into values okay so this is a query uh, this is an SQL file which contains all the queries which will uh, which will help you to add the values onto the database okay so now I'm going to save this I'm going to save this as SQL query and underscore bike load okay so this is the loading SQL so I'm just saving it there and I'm going to execute this query okay so yeah so there is a small okay so they, they are looking for the database uh, bike stores and we do have a uh, production bike as the name okay so there is a small mismatch in the name so we have to correct it and then again um, uh, you know uh, use it okay so just a minute so what I'm doing is I'm just trying to change this use bike store instead of use bike stores I'm going to give use uh, production production underscore bike so when I click execute so what happened is all the values are basically now here okay now I am again going to the production bike and uh, refreshing them I am just going to refresh it and I'm going back to the tables and initially I'm going to see the design and then I could select the top rows so it will just give me the rows inside that okay so if I select the rows it will give you give me that rows okay so whatever be the rows inside that that rows will be displayed here okay so hope now it is clear like you know how to uh, get the data so if you want to drop the table again what you have to do is that you know uh, you can have a uh, uh, an SQL file okay which tells you to uh, see this is the drop file so you could just drop <coughs> all the tables which are existing in that so you are dropping all the schema as such so if you want to drop the table you can actually utilize this uh, this data so this is how you will be using um, the yeah so uh, the SS, uh, SSMS that is your SQL uh, uh, server management system you can use this for easy upload of MDF files 
and easy upload of the schemas using the uh, SQL files. Okay, so hope it is clear. If you have any doubts or anything like that, please let me know. Okay, thank you.